In this video, I'm going to show you how to lay out the measurements for a simple socket organizer. I started off by measuring the outer diameter of all of my sockets. I'm going to use a spreadsheet formula to convert those inch measurements into metric. This is easily done by multiplying the inch measurement by 25.4. That's going to give me some fractional measurement. I want to round it up to the next whole number. So I'm going to use a function called roundup, which just takes a value. For my value, I need it to be my inch measurement multiplied by 25.4. And you can see this already does the conversion. I need to apply this formula to the rest of my cells. Now that I've got my measurement converted, I need to find out what the radius of each of these sockets are. The radius is just half the diameter. So I'll just take my metric measurement divided by 2 and again I apply that to all of my values. Now because all of these are different sizes from the center line of one to the center line of the next one is going to be different. I also want to include a space between each socket. So I can use a formula and I just add one radius to the next radius and then add whatever spacing I'd like. I want to use 8 millimeters. Again I can apply this formula all the way down. So I know from the center of the first socket to the center of the second socket with 8 millimeters in between is 51 and a half millimeters. Again from the center of the second socket to the center of the third socket with 8 millimeters in between is 48 millimeters. And this goes on down the line. And you can tell this last measurement looks a little odd. And that's because you're taking the, you're adding the first value to the value underneath it. And there's no value here. So we can just ignore this one. Now with these measurements, you can just go lay them out manually with the ruler on a piece of paper or directly onto a piece of wood and drill your holes. I'm going to use SketchUp just so I can make sure that I get everything laid out exactly how I want it. If you want to check out how I did that, jump on over to the next video. Otherwise, you can check out how I built this socket organizer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out, and catch you all next time.